What's up, everybody? It's VR Gamer Dude here, and tonight we are going back in the dungeon once again. So tonight we're going to be taking a look at Carnage Chronicles. Now this is a really cool action RPG that uh, is in early access currently on Steam. And man, let me tell you, I've been playing this the last couple of nights and I am absolutely blown away by this. The, the graphics are gorgeous, the combat is really good, the audio, the atmosphere, I mean, this thing's got it all and it's still in early access. All right, let's get in there. And let's take a look at Carnage Chronicles. All right, here we are in Carnage Chronicles, and man, let me tell you, if the menu is indicative of the game, this is going to be nuts. I mean, even in the menu here, we've got like pulsating plants and water dripping down into cool shimmery pools here, and I mean, everything just looks alive and vibrant, so Nordic Trolls, props. All right, let's get started. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, so this is amazing. I mean, you know, I've been playing this the last couple of nights uh, just to get used to it. And man, every time I drop into this loading area, it, it still takes my breath away. Uh, I mean, everything is just lit well and I mean, atmospheric, so blah, 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 blah. Okay, so anyway, here in the Early Access Alpha, we have two different classes. Now, they are going to be adding a Mage and a Cleric class down the road. Uh, currently, the game clocks in at about two to four hours in the Early Access, but they're, they're saying it's going to be, you know, ten plus hours when it's finished, so... I'm just, I'm amazed at what they've already done. So we can play the warrior here, uh, where you got a sword and a crossbow, or we can play the archer with the traditional bow and the, the daggers. Now, I've played both. I actually prefer the archer. I like the ranged attack better with the archer, so we're gonna stick with what I know for this video. All right, there we are. There's my bow, and it is pretty damn accurate, except for the fact that I suck. So, but uh, rest assured, the weapons in here are fantastic. I mean, you got the blades, you got the bow, you got your fist. And one thing I got to say that I thought was kind of cool is in a lot of these, you know, adventure type games lately, I've noticed the swords just pass right through each other. These do, but at least they give you this like really cool spark effect and sound effect with it. So. All right, let's get on with it here. Um, yeah, you got you got the shop up here. I might as well show you that. So uh, you can come up here, and uh, this is where you can upgrade all your weapons and you know armor and stuff like that. So all the traditional RPG stuff right here. And, and man, I've really been looking for you know good RPGs, and there's been a, a a bunch of them lately. I mean, you got like Mage's Tales got some RPG elements to it. Um, there, there's a couple of others that I've been tracking lately, um, but this one seems to be bringing it all together very nicely. So, all right, let's go. All right, so, man, this looks good. This looks so good. I mean, the graphics fidelity in here is insane. In there. The entrance gaped like a mouth, and the vibrant scale mountains rose behind it like a serpentine spine. Darkness waited. Voice acting is not bad either. Patient, eager. Oh, a glorious on. secret lay within, like a gleaming lure dangling over a gardening wall. I like it how the coins float in midair. It's a neat effect. Ah. Really gotta get better with this bow. Like I said, it's actually pretty damn accurate. I just suck. Nice. Oh, let me get you right in the back of the dome. 
<laughs> nice. And you die. Alright. Whoa. Okay, sorry. I gotta geek out here for a second. That that effect. That is amazing. Oh man, how that fire is reflecting in this pool. Sorry, blah blah blah. No, no, I, I love little things like that though in VR. Oh, and while I'm at it, you know, I gotta say thank you Nordic Trolls for giving us movement options too. Um, surprised I didn't mention that right off the get go. But I uh, love the fact that. Uh, my health is full. Uh, love the fact that, you know, you have the option. If you want to teleport, you can teleport. If you want free movement and free turning, you've got it. So, you guys have been listening to the VR community for sure, and we definitely appreciate it. Oh! Big wolf. <laughs> wolf carrying cat. Oh, hey. This is be shooting. Nice. There we go. Warming up with my bow there. You would know? Oh, nice. Mm, some cheese. Oh. Hello. I think that's pretty cool effect too. You gotta actually pull the arrows out when you get shot. Ugh. Nice. Where's your buddy go? Oh.
sorts of stuff. So, whew, oh, a little moose over here. Oh, nope, that was just a reflection. I thought it was something to pick up. So, okay, so, and we've also got some, like, you know, puzzling aspects to it. Um, not necessarily the uh, most challenging of puzzles, but it's there nonetheless. Ah, save point. Nice. Alright, what's around the bend? Real bad things are about to happen. There are a few performance hitches uh, that I'm getting right now. Now keep in mind, I'm still on an older graphics card. I'm on a 980 Ti. Um, all the rest of my system's pretty good, but I desperately need to upgrade my graphics card. Um, and you know, this is still alpha. So, and I mean, the fact that this is this fleshed out in an, in an alpha slash beta state is, is amazing. So I'll deal with the performance hiccups. Nice. You're out of the way. And scratch number two. We're going to go ahead and cap it here, but man, let me tell you, Carnage Chronicles, th this has been a complete and pleasant surprise, and you know, if you have an Oculus Rift or an HTC Vive, I'm going to throw a link down in the description, go grab a copy of this, man, it is well worth a look, and it's only going to get better, but for me tonight, that's going to do it, guys, this is VR Gamer Dude, signing off, y'all, peace.